Prez, I have to ask, what is the, well, let's say one of the more important things you look for when backing a team? Yeah, Kel, it's a really interesting question. And again, I'm going to talk about sort of the amateur bettors sitting around in a bar. And, you know, a lot of times you'll you'll hear somebody say, oh, I knew, I knew the Colorado Rockies were going to beat the LA Dodgers on the road plus 420 with, uh, you know, a child pitching. I just knew it. That's why I made that bet. No, you didn't know it. You got lucky and you're showing off. That to me is one of the things that happens all the time where a gambler tries to be too cute. Oh, this team has gone over eight games in a row. Today's the day they don't score. Oh, really? That's your handicap. Eight games to the over. Today's the day it goes under. I tell people all the time, don't overthink this. Don't try to get too cute. Don't be that one guy that predicted that the Charlotte Hornets would beat the Golden State Warriors on their court on the money line at plus 810. Don't be that guy. Look at what the team's identity is and focus on that. In NHL, which is one of the sports I bet very well, one of the best of all my sports, a team like Winnipeg Jets, this team has gone under the total and I'm making this up, but it's something like 20 to 38 on the year, 20 overs, 38 unders. They're 58 games in. They have told us who they are. They have told us who they want to be. So why would you sit here and think, oh, this is the game the Jets are going to go over? No. The Jets' identity is to play to the under. Now, you might be wrong when you take the under, but over an extended period of time, if you focus on what the teams are telling you, you will win more often than you lose. Indiana Pacers, they like to play to the over, so take the over. Now you'll say the bookmakers will just keep moving that total up. Well, that actually isn't necessarily true. There are ceilings on high totals and floors on low totals. The Pittsburgh Penguins play to the under. There hasn't been a five all year, yet all they do is play 3-1, 4-1 hockey games. So from my perspective, one of the big things I'd like to tell the audience is don't be a hero. Don't overthink things. The teams tell you who they are. They tell you how they want to play. If you can just focus on that, you will be a winning better in the long run. Very different perspective than I'm used to hearing, Prez, but I liked it. I, very refreshing. Uh, so essentially what you're saying is teams that pass the eye test, whether it's towards the over, whether it's towards a certain style of play, whether it's towards a defensive metric, you said take them at face value. Yeah. And, 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 and Kelly, ultimately, you know, you, you can't do this with every team, right? You have not. to do this with the teams that live on the extremes. You know, when you have Dallas Stars go over the total at home 80% of the time this year, are you going to be the person that thinks they're going to go under their next five games? Why? They're 60 games in. They've defined themselves. They've told you the information you need to know. And I understand that that sounds square and that sounds amateurish. But ultimately, why try overthink everything? Why be that person that figures out tonight's the night the Detroit Pistons win on the road? It's tonight, not tomorrow, not last game. It's tonight. It, you will lose more often than you win if you try to, to sort of go counterintuitive of a team's identity. But that's very simplistic, Kel. Like, obviously, it's, it's just one component to a much greater handicap. Of course, but it, it makes a lot of sense, Press, because as a, the, I'll call myself a contrarian to a certain degree, you've got to pick your spots when you want to go contrarian, right? You're, you're not, you're not going to bet against the Chiefs 
knowing their playoff history. And that's what I did this last uh, NFL postseason. So post did season. I, Kel. So and, did I. And I was, I was like, no, this is the right number. I'm betting teams. I will say this. Drew Martin said this on a podcast with me in September, and I did not listen to him. He said, Kelly, the teams that are passing the eye test are who I'm wanting to back in the NFL. Right. And everybody else on the podcast said, it. you sound square. And guess who made the most money out of the group this year on that podcast in the NFL? Drew Martin. Yeah, well, and Kel, we could do a whole video on this square wise stuff, right? Because ultimately that's a conversation in and of itself. There's a reason square betters don't win. And it's not because they're square. It's because right. they don't know how to bet, which is what we spoke about earlier or in the other video. It's not, you know, uh, wise bettors know how to bet. They get the best numbers. They're not going, you know, they're not trying to pick the one time Detroit Pistons win on the road. That's just not <laughs> what they're trying to do. Brez makes some really compelling points. He's right. We could go on and on forever on so many topics. We'll get Prez back here to do some more betting videos for you guys. Make sure you head over to wagertalk.com, wt.buzz backslash LP to get all of Prez's place, which coincidentally happened to be 25% off special coupon code just for this video. Get an all access pass up to one full year using coupon code TIPS, T-I-P-S, 25.